turning Scottish whisky into a novel gasoline to replace the petrol that powers most traditional cars. That's how this Edinburgh-based company is tackling the climate crisis. And with Scotland hosting the COP26 Climate Summit, they say investing in distilleries and low-carbon waste technology could help the rest of the UK go green. So we at Celtic Renewables uh, are pioneering a process whereby we can take residues from industries such as the whisky industry and convert them into high value products, uh, namely butanol, which is actually being used to power this car right now. Celtic Renewables converts waste from whisky in a process called ABE fermentation. It produces acetone, butanol and ethanol chemicals that are used in everything from fuel and food production to medicine and cosmetics. Professor Martin Tangney, the company's founder, says those chemicals could still be used far into the future as long as they're produced in a sustainable way. So the benefit of this particular fuel is that we're not producing it from petrochemicals. This is made from living carbon, essentially. It's from a residues of an industry that's one of the most important industries in the Scottish economy, and we can take their residues and turn them into something that we need right now, made from sustainable resources. The company's demonstration plant in Grangemouth near Edinburgh can produce one million litres of advanced sustainable biochemicals using 50,000 tonnes of draft and pot ale and other raw materials like potatoes or almost any organic waste. The company now plans to build five large-scale refineries around the world in the next five years. It's calling on governments and investors to back them and says COP26 should be about action as opposed to promises. I hope that it achieves a lot. I hope that it does help us to get to net zero. I hope we hit all the targets that everybody's putting in place. But if it's just about targets, if it's setting one more target and putting the whole solution down the road, then that's just not acceptable. This has to be the COP where we stop talking about why we need to tackle climate change and tell everybody how. How we do it, how we pay for it, how is it going to happen. A roadmap, a strategy, not an exercise in target setting.